brothers of Islam, we are emphasizing a important topic about the hypocrites, the bloodshed that is taking place overseas, the hardship that we are going through. It is the hypocrites that light the fire. It is the hypocrites that cause disorder upon earth. It is the hypocrites that cause the mischief upon earth. And the Prophet وسلم, he indicated about the hypocrites. And he indicated the qualities of the hypocrites and the Sahaba al Kiram. They feed that they are amongst the hypocrites. What about ourselves? What is our status with Allah? Where is our position with Allah? Where is our hearts? Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he approached Hudayfa bin al Yaman and he asked him, I ask you by Allah. And Hudayfa, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, revealed to him the secrets about the hypocrites. He knew who the hypocrites were. And Sayyidina Umar approached him and said, Hudayfa, I ask you by Allah, am I amongst those hypocrites that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned? He said, no, your status is high. Imagine to yourself and ponder over Sayyidina Umar and his status. He died as a shaheed. The Prophet وسلم, gave him glad tidings about Jannah. The shaitan himself feed Umar, but yet Umar feed for himself from being a hypocrite. He asked and ha asked Hudayfa until he said to him, you're not amongst these people. Abu Malika states, that I met 30 Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet وسلم, each one of them feared that he was a hypocrite. What about ourselves? Are these signs and qualities of a hypocrite evident and clear before us? Or do we have or consist of these qualities? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O oh believers, why do you state what you do not perform or do? It is a great thing. It is a severe punishment from Allah if you state what you do not perform. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala criticized those that state what do not, they do not perform. And this is from the qualities of a hypocrite. That he states, I'm going to perform. I am doing. I'm going to preserve the religion, preserve my household. But he does not perform. He does not perform. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa narrates in the hadith that Abdullah ibn Abdullah ibn Amri narrated that there are four qualities. If one person consists of these four qualities, then he is a complete hypocrite. Four, if he speaks, he lies. He lies about the believers. He lies about Allah and Rasulullah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what greater sin is there than one lying about Allah and Rasulullah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrates that whoever lies about me intentionally, let him prepare himself for the hellfire. This is a hypocrite that lies. Also, that he breaks the oath between him and Allah and the people. I promise I shall fulfill. I promise you I shall give you. I promise you, I promise you, and he does not fulfill the promise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that the oath that you make with Allah must be fulfilled. Also, 
if he arranges a timing with a person he does not attend he does not attend this is a hypocrite that the Prophet indicated about also if he falls into conflict with someone that he brings falsehood so that he can earn the provision and he lies so that he takes the people's rights but on the day of judgment he shall be eating the blazing fire these are the qualities of a hypocrite and as we indicated what is taking over what is happening overseas the bloodshed it is because of the hypocrites that say they believe in Allah and the angels and the books that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descended and they say they believe in the last day and they say that they perform the fundamentals of Islam but in their hearts they are not believers they're lighting the fire that is causing the bloodshed all over the world Wallahi the enemy cannot enter upon the believers because the believers are firm in their beliefs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but it is the hypocrites that are amongst us that create the fitna and the corruption and the disorder upon the earth and this is from the qualities of the hypocrites that they lie and they create disorder mischief bloodshed upon this earth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised them that their status will be in the lowest point of Jahannam and they shall have no helper only that hypocrite that repents to Allah and turns to Allah and submits and surrenders to Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then says that he shall be with the believers and Allah has promised the believers a great reward Allah has promised you a great reward Wallahi this is a extremely important topic that we have to be careful and cautious from the hypocrites and remind myself am I heading towards that direction what are my qualities what are my actions what am I performing and the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created are three types one is the believers the believers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised them Jannah and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was sent to give glad tidings to the believers and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shall bless them with a great reward and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the believers that believe in the unseen and they believe in the Quran that was revealed upon Muhammad and the previous revelations and they establish their prayer and they give from what Allah has provided them and Allah says about the believers surely they are the successful the second type are the disbelievers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says whether O Muhammad you call them or you do not call them they are disbelievers they disbelieved and denied in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah has sealed upon their hearts their eyesight and their, their hearing a seal and surely they shall have an harsh, a harsh punishment in the hereafter beware of these people the hypocrites that cause disorder upon the earth and mischief as for hypocrisy there are two types one is major and one is minor the major one is to claim that you believe in Allah utter the testimonies on faith but in your heart you do not believe and for these people is a harsh punishment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about them in the Quran al karim that they criticize the believers they criticize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they do not perform that if they rise to the prayer they are lazy that they bond with the enemy against the believers as for the second type hypocrisy is the minor one 
it is like one claiming to the brothers that he helps them and he's with them and he's got a bond and passionate towards them but in his heart he curses them it's like when you see a person and you smile but your heart curses be cautious and watch out you might be of the hypocrites the first type is kufr disbelief and the second type will drag you to disbelief Abu Hurair radiallahu ta'ala narrates a hadith that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam narrates that a large number of people will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the qiyamah and they'll have the actions of tihama the mountain that is so great that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will destroy all their actions all that turn their action into soil the Sahaba, the companion said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, why? Why? Aren't they believers? Are they believers? He said, surely they are believers. They pray the way that you pray. And they fast the way that you fast. And they give from their wealth. And they pray during the night. But if they're alone, if they're alone, they perform what is unlawful. The unlawful becomes lawful to them. And this is the sign of hypocrisy that they perform what is unlawful. This is their sign. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in the Quran a whole surah, chapter speaking about the hypocrites and what their agenda is an intention to destroy the believers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Muhammad, if the Hypocrites approach you and say that you're the messenger of Allah. Note that they disbelieve in their hearts. Allah knows you're the messenger. And Allah bears witness that the hypocrites disbelieve. They approach the believers and they use their belief, their outward belief as shields to protect themselves. Surely what they perform is evil. And if you see them, O Muhammad, you'll be inspired by their look, by their actions, by their talk. But in reality, they are like wooden beams. The beams and the pillars. Beware from these people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasize to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and if it said to them come and the Prophet of Allah will seek forgiveness for you they turn away and they are arrogant and heedless then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a very important point O Rasulullah if you seek repentance for them whether you seek repentance for them or you do not seek repentance for them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive them these are the hypocrites and this is their qualities. It is very important that we understand the qualities and who the hypocrites are. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this.